So there's this kid, and his name's Oliver, and he's in high school. And Oliver's hanging out with all his friends one night. They're partying in the park, having a good time. And his friends are like, you want to play Truth or Dare? And Oliver's like, yeah, I want to play Truth or Dare. I'm not scared of anything. And they're like, his friends look to the, each other they're like, does Oliver know about the cave? And he's like, what cave are you talking about? They're like, the legend has it that the cave underneath these trees in the park there's an old man that lives in there, and he hasn't come out in seven years, but people once in a while go and visit him, and Oliver's like, are you serious? And they're like, yeah, dude, we dare you to go and, and meet that guy. And he's like, there's no way, I, there's a, I don't even think a cave exists in this park. And they're like, yeah, we, our friend Johnny went back there two years ago, and the dude was in there. And so Oliver's like, well, there's no way I'm going in there. And they're like, all right, we'll give you 50 bucks if you go back there. So Oliver, they take him to the entrance of the cave deep through the woods. And they're like, you got to go in there by yourself. And he's like, well, I'm, I'm not scared of anything, so I guess I'm going to do it. And, and the whole time he's just saying to himself what his dad always told him, which is the only thing to fear is fear itself. So he's walking through the cave. He's like crawling on his knees. He's like, the only thing to fear is fear itself. The only thing to fear is fear itself. And he keeps going back. He comes to this crevice where he has to like go sideways and he's like, his heart is pounding. He's like, oh my God, is there really gonna be a dude back here that's like 90 years old? And finally he shimmies through the crevice and deep in the distance he sees a little candle and he's like, oh my God, there is a dude back here. And he's like, the only thing to fear is fear itself. He keeps going back, and then he just sees this old guy with huge, long, bushy white hair, and he's just sitting there. And at first, Oliver's heart is beating, but then when he gets closer to the dude, he just feels incredibly calm. And this guy's just sitting there like, hello, Oliver. And, and he just, Oliver just like completely relaxes. He's like, how'd you know my name? And the guy's like, I know everything. And so this old man's just sitting there with his massive white beard. And he throws Oliver an onion. And Oliver catches the onion. And he's like, why are you giving me an onion? And he's like, that's what you are, Oliver. You're a big onion. And Oliver's like, what the hell are you talking about? And why do you live in a cave? And the old guy's like, I'm here to teach you about the onion. And Oliver just picks it up and starts staring at it and he's like looking back like is this really happening? He's sitting in a cave in the middle of this park and this guy's just living back here with a candle. And so the the old guy says to Oliver, he's like, you're a pretty wise kid, you know, saying the only thing to fear is fear itself. And he's like, How, how'd you know I was saying that? How, how? He's like, I know everything. And so the old guy's like, you know, Oliver, you're just really an onion. And the only thing to fear is fear itself. And you were born as the center of the onion. But as you've grown up, you've put all these layers of fear on top of yourself, on top of your true self. And he's like, start peeling back the layers of the onion. And Oliver starts to peel back the first layer and he feels this horrible pain in his back. He's like, what, what are you doing to me? And he's like, every time you peel back a layer of the onion, it's, it's a challenge. But every, every time you peel it back, you get closer to your true self, your unique self. And Oliver's like, what, what are you trying to say to me? Like, what's going on? And he's like, Oliver, do you know what fear stands for? And he's like, what do you mean? It's just a word. And the old guy's like, false expectations appearing real. Oliver's like, hmm, I like that. And he's like, every time you, you peel back a layer of an onion, it's gonna look like a massive challenge. And it may be extremely hard to peel back that layer. But as you get closer, you will feel a lightness in your life and you will experience joy a lot more often and he's like 
That's interesting. Thanks, caveman. And, uh, and then the guy just continues stroking his beard, and he's like, but everyone around you is gonna, is gonna convince you to keep putting up those layers of the onion, and they're not gonna want you to peel back the layers of this onion. And, and Oliver just sits there like, he's still questioning whether this is really happening, but this old guy is just still in there, and, uh, and he's like, false expectations appearing real. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Have a nice day. And so Oliver just leaves the cave, shimmies back through the thing, and, uh, when he gets back out, his friends are still standing there like, dude, was he really in there? And Oliver's just like, yeah, he's sitting back there with a candle. And they just, they were too afraid to go in there. They didn't want to peel back the layers of the onion. But Oliver decided to peel back the layer of his onion. And that's what the old man's teaching was. So that is the story of Oliver and the Onion. Have a nice day.